Oh, thank God. All right. Yeah. All right, now that the, the set has finished, I actually wanted to show you guys something. There's actually a very sentimental reason why I play some of the characters I play. It's like, I don't need it to be, I guess, but for me, it's just something that I was kind of influenced by this. Uh, my actions were influenced by this sentimentality when I was playing fighters, at least. So one thing's for sure, one of the main things that I want to highlight is that I've gone through a lot of teams in this game. My first team was actually Bardock, SJ Goku, and Piccolo. But like when I first actually began playing this game, like when I first bought it, I actually played with this team. And I went through a bunch of different teams, but uh, one team, there's a few characters in particular that are special to me. Right now, the two main characters that I like playing a lot, apart from Piccolo, is uh, SS like this character and this character. Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta have special places in my heart because Adrian used to play those two characters. He played in hit these two and he played Cell. Like when he was getting into fighting games because he played BB Tag with us. And then he tried fighters. He liked playing with Blue Goku, Blue Vegeta, and Cell. And he was really excited when Season 3 dropped a new patch and they buffed his whole fucking team. Like, he was really happy. He was really excited, man. And I was excited for him, too, because he was he, he bought the game for himself at home and played on the Xbox all the time. And um, when he passed away, it was I was really distraught. And I decided to try some of the characters from this team. I tried maybe trying the team out for myself, but I couldn't really vibe to sell. I tried Blue Vegeta, wasn't a big fan of it at the time. But um, eventually he grew on me because his neutral is really cool. And eventually I got the hang of it with the buffs. I, I love this team and what it offers me. Like this, this team is so fun. And then the conversions off of this team as well is fun. I like, I also was a, I also was a really big fan of this uh, mix right here. When, uh, when he, when I would set the opponent, when the opponent was blocking, I was a big fan of this mix. And then when I eventually learned how to play Go Blue Goku, I eventually learned how to play Blue Goku. I actually rocked Blue Goku for quite some time. I spent a lot of time getting good with this character, man. Like, you have no idea. But, and every time I do well, I always, I always think about, like, I always think about Adrian, man. Like, I think, I always think about Adrian and how he always big this team up. He always talked about this team and he talked like, this team is crazy good. Like, these characters are good and... You know, I we always joke around and just like, all right, cool, pick your fucking team already. But after a while, like, I really enjoyed the team and I couldn't help but not play it. I couldn't help but actually, I couldn't help, like, not trying out the characters. You know what I mean? I wanted to see why he loved these characters so much. And so I dedicated a lot of time into learning them. And I love these characters now. I know I now understand why he loved these characters as much as he did. And it and it got me thinking maybe I should try playing these characters more. And now I'm at a point where now my current team that I use is uses one of the the two current teams that I run the most use two of the characters he plays. And these are teams that I have a lot of fun fun experiences with. And I've had a lot of success with them. I have videos of me playing with these teams. And I was really happy.